All right, well, hi again, everybody. Back to a familiar location here at the parents' house. Uh, happy March Madness, folks. We're here at tournament time. Uh, watch some great uh, sauce there, Taco Bell. Watch some great afternoon games. Loyola, Chicago, big upset. Here's some close ones there. Uh, I want to thank my guys for doing the playing game last night on Stop Topic up in UD, the great UD Arena. I tell you what, folks, if you've not watched the game up there, spectacular, spectacular venue. Watch the great game, Syracuse. I was going to say the fan bases were great. Uh, Texas Southern NC Central it was a great night. So, back here tonight, I picked up a six pack of beers, and uh, I got a good beer for you. I, I tried the first bottle of this. This is a company I don't drink often, uh, but here we are. This is from the Erie Brewing Company. Now they're located out of Erie, Pennsylvania. This is called the Skipper Stout. Skipper Stout. Uh, it's labeled as a gnarly coffee stout. Uh, a couple of things. The beer checks in at 7.2 percent alcohol, so a little booze. I uh, picked up a six pack relatively was it 12 bucks not terrible for seven two I drank one of these just now and I gotta tell you what I don't want to run the review but it is it is a kick-ass excellent beer so let's get into it get the cap off and get it going uh, a little bit about Erie, Erie Brewing I think I've only done one Erie Brewing Company review the Johnny Rails Pumpkin 17 so our bottle cap there from Erie Brewing Erie PA actually Erie PA real quick about the city before I get about the beer and the, and the company is a really unique a nice sized town on Lake Erie. They have a couple of nice state parks there. Lake Erie, beautiful shoreline, and a good sized town, 150,000 plus uh, minor league baseball team. So I've been through there a couple of times, and it's a nice town. So if anybody's ever been up that way, give me a shout. I know Erie Glassware. I do have the Snifter here for the Snout, the the Eltec Snifter, and here's our port. This should warm a bit, but it has been out about 15 minutes. I like this logo there, the Skipper Stout, the dog logo. Uh, you know, and Erie's one of those companies that's been hit or miss. I've had two, one or two great beers from them, and then I've had one or two that have just been pretty rot gut. So I would say that they're in the in that be, in between mode of being, in my opinion, a great company or a bad company. I would say they're average. Uh, tell you what, I got about nine ounces of this. Really flat. That, 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 that's disappointing. That's disappointing because this beer is awesome. I just had it. It's out of the same batch. There's the poor. No head. I don't think I've ever seen a stop with that little bit of head. My God. I'll tell you one thing that you get the aromas. It is roasted coffee, and I mean roasted. If you like roasted deep deep coffee, almost like a dark dark roast blend. And I don't know it says another like coffee. It is the beer for you. Uh, it's a good it's a good uh, crafted base as well. Not, not a lot of head on the beer, but it's it's a nice stout finish uh, body to it as well. So uh, let's get one more quick of the aroma here. It's gonna get dark coffee. Lots of dark dark coffee, roasted coffee, some roasted malts, some chocolate flavors. This is a kick-ass beer. Really not sure why there's no head on the beer, but let's thank the brewers at Erie. Uh, wonderful job they do up there. And cheers to everyone watching, and cheers to March Madness. Great time of year. Cheers, everybody. Well, I tell you what. This is one of those where you would think you're crazy because... A lot of people are going to say, well, Erie Brewing is not great. And they're also going to say, look, at there's no head on this beer. There's no lacing. This is a fine, fine stout, in my opinion. Uh, and I, coffee stouts I love. This is one of the better ones I've had in a long time. Great coffee flavor. Coffee flavor is definitely up front. It's not, it's not to the point where, like, you, it's, you're drinking just coffee, like a coffee bomb. And that's kind of what I like about it is I think it's just right. You get enough coffee to where it's noticeable, it's there, which, which it should be. Uh... And you just get a head fizzle in 10 seconds. Unbelievable. It's just a good beer. 7.2, so drinkable. Two or three of them. I think this is excellent. I, you know, and I was really picking up on <coughs> here. But I just want to try some different beers at places. You know, to the, didn't go to Jungle Gems today. I went to a, a gas station uh, Indian guy there. And he's a nice guy. Uh, and they have a nice selection of 200 craft beers. And I saw this. And I, I've seen this Jungle Gems a couple times. And I'm like, yeah. But, you know, pick out something new. Also got Prairie Bomb in there. Uh, could be be that later as well. That's a big boy, but uh, this is good. I tell you what, one more sip here. It's a like great coffee, but the flavor. It says gnarly coffee. I'm not really sure. If that's some kind of coffee out in Pennsylvania, but this is an A beer for me. I'm, I, you know, I'm all, I, I think I rated the Johnny Pumpkin a B. Uh, like I said, well, I think I've had four or five Erie brews, and uh, you know, two have been great, two have been terrible. This could be the fifth one I've ever tried. But this is money, folks. I think if you're into coffee stouts, uh, I would give this a shot. I think this is really good, at least this particular batch. I, I'd like to, I'm being interested to try this six months from now or six months ago to see. Because, like I said, a company like Erie has been up and down for me. And I'm, I'm giving a little bit out on this one. 
how good they could be. You know, I'm trying to find a date stamp on this bottle. I did not see one. That's again, we look for that on beers. I don't see one at all. Yeah, and that's. I really wish companies would date their product. I, I, I'm not going to totally say I hate the beer because of it, or totally say it's a fail. But you know, of course, I bud by date their stuff. Why can't a craft beer charging twice as much? Uh, there's no date stamp on here whatsoever. I mean, there's nothing. And really, Erie Brews don't say a whole lot about it. It just says gnarly coffee stout Erie Brewing. So, uh, cheers. Uh, this is an excellent beer. I think this is one of the better coffee stouts I've had in recent memory. Not the best ever, but certainly, I think if you like coffee stouts, if you see this, I would pick this up. Six pack, uh, 12 bucks. I would pick this up 7.2. So, a nice little sipper. It's called Skipper Stout. Gnarly coffee stout. The dog with the logo there. So, life's too short, my friends. I must be happy. And, of course, uh, that includes drinking good crap beer and watching great college basketball. This is a great time of year. Temperatures in the lower 50s today. Cannot beat it. Uh, the Wolverines put them out around 10. Uh, I got what, seven other other games tomorrow. Good friends tomorrow, St. Patrick's Day. Unfortunately, the week off is going rather quickly. Uh, getting back to the work Monday, so that's flying by. But uh, that's life, I guess. You got to work. Can't be a bum on the street. And collect the welfare check. I guess you could, but wouldn't be a man to me. So couldn't couldn't be a honest person. Collect collect welfare checks and. If nothing's really wrong with you, I shouldn't say that. People need help um, for welfare. I don't want to get too political, but you got to work in life, right? So cheers, everybody. And again, life's too short. Drink this stout. Skipper's Gnarly Coffee Stout from Erie Brewing Company. It's a delicious coffee stout. If you like coffee and you like stouts, I think you would like this beer. Hey, one man's opinion, I guess. You never know. Uh, it's a home run for Erie, though, so nice job. Cheers, and we'll see you guys soon. Later.